Now, if you know me, you know my favorite JavaScript framework is Svelte. And today I wanna to talk about one of my favorite features of Svelte, and that's Svelte stores. Stores are a way to easily share state between components without it getting too boilerplate-y, looking at you, React. I'm gonna give a quick rundown of Svelte stores and how you can get started using them today in your Svelte app. Now I have a super basic Svelte app uh, running here on the Vite template. And of course I have a classic counter component here showing where you can add and subtract a number and it gets reflected there in the screen. Now right now I'm just storing the state in a component uh, instance here in the component itself with this let count variable. And of course this works great if uh, the state is contained within a single component, but once you start talking about sharing state between components, uh, we have to, a couple options we have to decide between. Now the easiest and mo most obvious one is to pass uh, the state down as a prop. And this works great if you have already have a parent-child relationship between several components and if the state you need to share is um, relatively minimal. As soon as the state explodes or you need to share a state between sibling instances or maybe components that are in completely different parts of the tree, it gets a little bit more tricky. And this is where Svelte stores really shine. Now to change this count variable into a store, we're going to start by importing something from Svelte slash store, we're gonna import writable. Now writable is a certain type of store, Svelte offers uh, three types of stores, but today we're just gonna cover writable. Now we come down to our count variable and we call writable as a function and we pass in zero as the initial value. And you'll see, uh, now if I save this, we'll see a couple uh, interesting things happen. For First of all, we have a couple of red underlines down where we're incrementing and decrementing the store. That's because now, this count variable is an instance of a writable store. It's not just a number. It's actually an object with several methods on it. And that's being reflected here in the display as well where JavaScript is telling us that we're trying to stringify an object. Let's first fix this display. So Svelte offers a special sugary syntax to display the value that's contained within a store as opposed to the store itself. And that's by simply prefixing the variable name with a dollar sign in here we see we have the zero showing up again. However, it still doesn't work. So to fix these red underlines, we'll do the same exact thing. By prefixing the store name with a variable, we're telling Svelte that we wanna get at the value of the store, not the store itself. So now we're in the same spot as we were in the beginning. So let's talk about how to actually share the store value between multiple components. The first thing we're gonna do is to create a new file to actually export our store. If we tried to export the store from this felt component instance, it would actually run this code and create a new store per component, which is not what we want. So let's jump over into the file explorer and create, um, we'll just call it a new store.js um, file and we can just copy and paste this over and instead of just creating this as a let uh, instance within the component, we'll create it as a constant exporter from this file. So over here we have a bunch of errors because it doesn't know what count is now. Uh, so we'll just fix that by importing store uh, count from store.js. And everything should still be working. Now from here, to share this value, it really is as simple as uh, doing another import. So let's say we want to port the actual the, the displaying logic over to its own component. All we have to do is grab our script tag, import that same count store from dot slash store dot js, and then include the display component back in here uh, in our app component. And there it is again. And you'll see we update the store value in this file and it actually gets reflected over in this other uh, spell component over here. Now again, this is a bit of a contrived example because since the display component is in the app, we could just pass the value as a prop and we could accomplish the same thing. But I hope this gives you a good idea of how Svelte stores are used and how they might be able to really simplify the state management in your Svelte app. If you want to see more Svelte content from me, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.